why does everything have to be such a project? Welcome to Road the Factory. Well, it looks like we may have kicked our bed adhesion problem. We shall see. So I gotta say, I am really happy so far with how this print is coming along. Um, as you can see in the piece that's further away from you, the, the holes that are in there are going to, on one side, accept the pivot from the motor mount, and on the other side will accept a... Uh, just a simple plug that will get solvent welded into place at, to act as a, uh, a bushing, basically, uh, or an axle, I should say, more like an axle. Uh, I'm really happy with how that's turning out, so. All right, so while we're working on some other parts, I figure this is a good time to pull these ankle bracket pieces off. And I'm printing a couple of parts that are going to go with these. Uh, part of the spindle ass uh, assembly is what I'm working on printing now. So I'll go ahead and get these off of the extremely large brim that I printed. And take a look at how these turned out. Okay, so what we have is our Metal Gear servo with the bracket that we had printed previously. And then that assembly is supposed to work with these pieces that I've just printed. Now, just looking at the print quality, there's some things I'm not happy with. I mean, you guys can see that pretty easily. That There's some warping right here. There's some warping. These layer lines are a little off. And when I printed this, I put it, printed it on the print bed this way, hoping to get less warping, but I think what I wound up with was poor layer adhesion. So I think perhaps reprinting this uh, horizontally like this um, on the glass bed will work out just fine. I haven't had any problems with the, with the prints coming off the bed being printed on glass like that. So I think if we go ahead and print that on glass on the flat, then we'll only have this little piece here that we need to worry about the layer bonding on and it shouldn't cool off so fast and we shouldn't get this kind of warpage. So the idea of this bracket system for the ankle is that our servo will mount in such a way where this bracket will be solvent welded using ABS to this bracket assembly here. And then the original idea was that this piece, which also has some, some layer issues, I'm really happy with how the, how the openings for the servo mounts turned out, but as you can see, takes a little bit of doing. Um, I must have, just calculated this wrong when I originally I made these a little thicker my I should say in the original fusion program for this this was a thinner piece and I stiffened it up and I think what I did was when I stiffened it up I extruded it further in towards the center of the bracket rather than extending the entire bracket out a little bit more so that's just a simple fix to to get that dialed in so the idea is that when this is of the right size this is going to serve as the hinge around which the ankle shifts. So then this top face here is where we would attach up the rest of the leg assembly heading up towards the knee. So we're going to go ahead, reprint this, see if we can get it working in its next iteration. What I've got going on now is we are making another stab at printing the ankle parts now in this orientation. So with this piece flat on the bed 
and both the bottom and side walls being a little bit thicker so that the part that itself is both a little more stable and a, a bit less prone to warping and delaminating. I also made some alter alterations to the ankle bracket top plate here and have changed the thickness and some of the dimensions on these to where hopefully they they will fit exactly with our servo in place a la so um, as you can see that original design was pretty close but uh, once we got the servo in place we didn't have an affirm so hopefully we'll see how that turns out also I'm not afraid to say it now this is the fourth print without going through and re-leveling the bed. So we may have the let's go ahead and have to re-level the bed problem solved. We shall see. Well, the print's coming along pretty well. I think you can see on the back corner of the this bracket here, I think you can see how we've got a little bit of warpage right at the base. But all in all, I think it's coming along nicely. I think it's certainly going to be uh, have some better layer bonding and some more better structure than we had on the last attempt. Four hours of printing later. Looks like we might have something good. Okay. We are both getting better and not getting better to begin with. This bottom bracket, uh, which would sit flat and attach to the foot, uh, all in all, I like the strength of it. The one thing I'm really not happy with, I think you can see how much that has warped. Um, I think this bottom piece is going to need to be thicker to cut down on the warping. I mean, obviously the bed adhesion was good, um, but I mean, look at, I think you can see, there you go. You can see not only how that's warped, but also how much thinner that is there. Um, so I think we're having some, some bed problems there. So the idea is that directly opposite the... directly opposite the uh, point for the motor, this little guy is going to get solvent welded onto here. So when the motor drives, it's simply rotating around this hub on this side. Um, obviously, a couple of problems that I need to work out in this design here. Um, first off, this is nowhere near tall enough. Um, these need to be much taller to be able to have any any hope of moving. The other thing is we are still in the dilemma where it doesn't fit. So in the redesign, once more, for the 47th time, um, in the redesign, these walls are going, to, this whole bracket is going to need to get a little bit wider. This is also going to need to get a little bit taller, and I'm thinking that this flat plate that would then have the area to solvent weld up the leg from is going to need to be a little bit thicker um, for a little I mean that's yeah that's gonna shear off or crack under any significant load um, that said I think that the overall idea here of the universality of the brackets is coming along in the right way so the idea is that this bracket sorry this piece fits inside he says 
ha ha ha. Okay, so this piece still needs to get tweaked a little bit, but at least that, look at that, that fits pretty. So out of all of this work this week, we have got one piece to really, really fit the way we want it to. I told you at the outset there was going to be a lot of tinkering. So, where are we at and where are we going? Not to worry, I have not lost the plot. We are actually still working on a robot dinosaur. So the idea here is that the, the assembly that I'm working on right now, this ankle assembly, is going to fit at this point in Rex's leg. And that attached above this position will be a uh, essentially what we would call a tibia fibula section and then a knee joint and then up the femur section here um, with the idea that this will all eventually get 3D printed. Um, I'm going to, I had mentioned in the uh, one of the previous episodes, the uh, That's Not a Duck episode, uh, how we're going to start off by, rather than having Rex attempting to be a toe walker, uh, we're going to start off with her being a flat-footed walker. And the idea behind that is to be able to figure out how to build all of this assembly up to this point a little more effectively and without it being quite such a, uh, a difficult project to to make happen. So, where are we at? Well, I'm hoping for next episode, what I'm shooting for is to have finally cracked the code on sizing this properly to where we will actually have this ankle up and running. On the plus side, looking for positives here, okay? Looking for positives, we have got the 3D printer behaving much better than it was previously, much more consistently. Which means, in addition to getting this leg working, another project that is in the near future, how about that fancy camera work there, is that I want to take and reprint um, Rex's skull, as I've talked about wanting to do eventually, and I want to actually work into the original design that came from Thingiverse, uh, a positions for this jaw to hinge properly, so that rather than Rex's jaw kind of being cobbled together and drilled out, that this is a more stable, permanent connection. So that's another aspect that I'm going to start working on here. Uh, I'm going to start by just printing a, a bottom jaw to to try out and see if we can get some positions right. Uh, and see where we can go from there. So that's it for this week. We've gotten definitely three or four steps forward. Again, this is going to be a, uh, a, a long labor of love. So thank you for taking the time to stop by, for checking things out. Uh, thanks for folks who have been commenting on the channel and leaving thumbs up and subscribing. Please, if you are having a little bit of a lark watching a robot dinosaur slowly come together, please give a like, uh, give a hit that subscribe button, hit the little door chime next to the subscribe button so that you make sure you get notified when new videos post. Please share, and as always, thank you for spending some time here over at Robot Factory. We'll see you soon. Cheers.